check the search volume history of an Amazon keyword. Search volume is a metric that is frequently used inside of Helium 10. What does it mean wherever you see it? Basically, it's a velocity uh, of how many searches that this product or a keyword has in about 30 days, all right, or the last month. So based on the velocity of what was happening in, the, in that week, what would the monthly search volume uh, be uh, for that keyword? How many times did people type that into the search bar, hit enter? It's an estimate that's based on Amazon data, it's highly, highly accurate. Now, what if you wanted to check the history of a search volume? Well, first of all, again, as we do with all these strategies, why is that valuable? Well you could have two completely relevant keywords to your product, all right? Uh, they describe your product perfectly. But if one of the keywords has only 50 searches a month uh, and the other one has 500 searches a month, which one do you think is a more valuable keyword? Maybe you only have enough room to put one of them in, or maybe you wanna make sure to put the most important keyword in your title. Well, how would you know which one to put? A lot of times, if the relevancy is the same, if this is a very important keyword, the way that you can prioritize your keywords is by the search volume, all right? So where you see the search volume inside of Cerebro is one of these columns right here, it says search volume. Now, why would you even wanna see the history uh, of this search volume? Uh, well, search volume, we just determined is important, but you also want to see the history because search volume goes up and down throughout the year. There are newer keywords that start getting more popular. There's seasonal keywords that maybe peak during a certain holiday like Christmas or a certain, a certain time of year like summer or winter, right? So it's important to kind of see uh, the ups and downs of search volume. So I showed you how to find the search volume inside of Cerebro. How do you find the history of it? Anywhere where you see a search volume number, you can actually hit the graph that is next to it. And what comes up is the search volume history of this on Amazon. So you can see right now it's got 1,854 uh, search volume. Uh, that means, you know, about 30 days, uh, almost 2,000 people have searched for it. But then you can kind of see last year around December, that number spikes all the way to 6,000. I can actually go back all time to however uh, far back that Helium 10 has data, and I could see that there are similar spikes every year coming up to Christmas time. Um, this is showing me Amazon search volume history, but if I hit the drop down menu in this box, I can actually see the Google search volume history and the walmart.com search volume history for any of these keywords. Now, a question I get a lot is, what's the magic number for search volume? What should I be looking for? There's no magic number. And it's also different by marketplace. You know, if you want a keyword that's probably gonna get you some, some sales, um, might be on the minimum at least 500 searches. But, you know, there's keywords that only have 100 searches uh, a month, and they, they still might get you one sale here or there. Um, if you're in the UK mar uh, market or the Japan marketplace, uh, you might want to drop that that minimum number, all right? Like uh, a keyword that only has 100 search volume, that actually might not be that bad in one of the smaller marketplaces. Another thing to look at is the search volume trend. That means, is this keyword growing in popularity from last month or is it going down? We also have that right here in Cerebro. There's a column that says search volume trend. You could see that this one keyword, pink coffin shelf, has gone down 31% from last month. So maybe I, I see here, I've got 2,000 keywords here. Maybe I wanna know what are all the keywords that are increasing in uh, search volume trend, like well, maybe there's some new hot keywords that I need to keep an eye on. Well, I can use the filters at the top of Cerebro and I can put a minimum and maximum search volume trend uh, so that I could, you know, perhaps see what are the hot keywords in a certain niche. I had mentioned too uh, about search volume kind of correlating with, with keyword sales, but it, it's not a one-to-one -one 
basis. All right. We, that's why we have this column here, keyword sales. These are estimates of approximately how many sales the searches for keywords uh, are generating. Uh, this is an estimate again, based on Amazon data. And you'll notice that it's not always consistent. Like here's a keyword that had 200 searches and it had uh, estimated eight sales. Here's another keyword that had 200 searches, but it had estimated 16 sales, all right? So this is another cool metric to look at in order to kind of estimate, all right, how powerful is this keyword? How many sales uh, is it generating? So again, guys, search volume, super, super important metric in Helium 10 in Cerebro and very valuable to you because it's uh, one of the important ways that you can kind of prioritize which are your most important keywords and which are the keywords that could potentially bring you the most sales.